The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, a chilly night ahead of us, and it will be a cool Sunday. Part of the reason for that is a weather system called the Wedge, also known as Cold Air Damon. And basically what is happening here is we're going to have the wind out of the east, and it's going to get banked up against our mountains. That is going to cause the temperatures to be below average on Sunday, and it does look like uh, we're going to have plenty of clouds around. So we just got done watching a little bit of racing over in Martinsville. Tomorrow they're going to be racing once again. The Xfinity 500 begins at 2 p.m., and it does look like it's going to be cloudy throughout that event. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe there's a stray shower later in the day, um, but the chances all, aren't all that high and you can see the temperatures are going to be in the upper 50s to close to 60 degrees. And then we're looking ahead to Sunday night. We're going to have this uh, storm system off to the west. It's going to be sending some moisture our way. Possibility of some showers Sunday night, but the highest chances are going to be on Monday for Halloween at about 60%. So you do need to plan for some rain at times. We are hoping that the showers do leave the area by the time the trick or treaters get out there at the moment. I do have the chance for rain between 40 to 60% for Monday evening and it does look like temperatures go from the low 60s to the upper 50s by the time you do wrap up your trick or treating. So continue to keep an eye on the forecast. If you do have those trick or treat plans as far as the next 24 hours are concerned, the clouds increase overnight tonight, the low 44 and then we're going to have a high of 59 tomorrow with plenty of clouds around. Here's your extended forecast. Wettest day of the week will be Halloween. It does look like we're going to be drier past that point and you see the temperatures bouncing back to the upper 60s or low 70s for highs for much of the work week. 